Hello students, welcome to biology class. Today shall we discuss about the pattern of biodiversity. Up to here, we discuss about the total species diversity on the earth and on global species diversity. Now, in today's topic, how the diversity of plant and animal species on the earth surface. पैटर्न here you may find the structure of the earth we know the poles north and south north and south are the meaning of altitude are the meaning of altitude and east and west is the meaning of longitude then from above the earth is known as is known as uh, altitude from past the world. is known as okay so still the earth has certain poles north and south that is the meaning of latitude north and south latitude east and west is known as longitude from the above surface on the above the earth is known as altitude okay so the earth surface north source latitude east west longitude from the earth above the earth surface is known as altitude so let us see here at the center of the earth a imaginary line will be go that is the meaning of uh, equator that is the meaning of what equator and we call equator 23.5 toward the north 23.5 toward the south that degree 23.5 degree north 23.5 degree south means at the uh, latitudinal gradient where it is the region of what tropical region tropical region at the zero that is the equator zero degree equator line imaginary line on the earth surface that is the equator line 23.5 degree north from the equator 23.5 toward the south from the equator that area this much area is known as tropical area then above the tropic toward the north the degree more than 23.5 degree more than that is the tropical cancer then the degree about 66.5 north that is the arctic circle same toward the south pole after the 23.5 away from 23.5 degree away from the tropical area that is the uh, what south temper temperate then tropical uh, capricorn then 66.5 toward the south degree that is the antarctic circle antarctic circle where this two this two is very cold place where you will find the ice place okay so how our diversity is distributed on this earth surface let us see see here you just make this heading and write down this topic so sorry write down this lines so what say species diversity decrease from equator to the poles so tell me what is equator 0 degree is the equator 0 degree is the equator 23.5 north 23.5 south that is the tropic that is the tropic so when we move away from the equator toward the north we move away from the equator toward the south malra hogli telagra bari how we are away from the tropic 
away from the equator as the species diversity is going to be decreases. If species diversity is going to be decreases away from the tropic, away from the equator. It may be toward the north or toward the south. Next, see here the word is written tropic. Latitude in range from 23.5 degree north, 23.5 degree south. This range, this range is considered as tropic. Have more species than the temperate and polar areas. After the tropic, after the tropic, it may be toward the north pole or toward the south pole. You may find first temperate region, then the sea polar area. So here the more population found in the tropic only in the 23.5 north, 23.5 south and tropic area only shows the variety of the species, more diversity of the species. Okay, This is the pattern of the diversity. Next slide. Fine. The example of the latitudinal gradient. See the number of bird species. Colombia, which is near equator. Colombia is a country which found equator nalli sigovanta country near equator. Because of near equator, about 1400 species of bird. 1400 species of the bird of Colombia because of only what? It is near equator. The next, India. India is a tropical country. Not near to the equator, it is in the tropic 23.5 Nalli Baruta India. Because of that, more than 1200 species of what? Bird species. Then New York, New York 41 degree, 41 degree north. 41 degree means it is away from the tropic. Tropic, yes, Nalli Sagutra 23.5, it is a tropic, but it is. Beyond the 23.5 means it is 41 not because of that the species is going to be decreased which is about 105 species of the bird. Then Greenland, see Greenland is about 71, 71 degree north. It is again so away from the equator, from the tropic hence how many species are there means only 56 species in the uh, green line which has 20, 71 degrees Celsius. Now, the tropic forest, the tropical forest region like Ecuador has up to 10 times 10 times more vascular plant than the species of compared to the temperate forest region like Midwest of US. Midwest of the US is the forest. Compared to here, vascular plant are found more in the temperate forest so more found in the tropical forest compared to the temper, temperate forest example is midwest us next slide so you have to just write down these lines no need to draw that yes next same it is added now see here tropical amazon rainforest rainforest is the biggest forest which is a tropical forest south america is a greatest biodiversity on the earth. Greatest biodiversity shows tropical Amazon rainforest, one of the forest it is. So the number of species, number of species in Amazon rainforest, it is like this, more than 40,000 plant species, 3,000 fishes, 1,300 bird, 247 mammals, 247 amphibians, 378 reptiles and more than 125,000 species of what invertebrate you may found in the uh, Amazon rainforest. Next, you just next back, take back. You just write write this heading and write below this examples and write this also. Okay, okay. Next, fine. The reason why the tropics, why the tropical area has more species richness alle ya hechi species iruttave idu heading haaki ee more point baradi 
in examination also he will ask for three marks his question because of what number one reason tropics has more evolutionary time evolution in agedala adu hechi yell ageda andre tropic nalle ageda alle hechi evolution takes place ageda hechi prani sasya prani mattu development in agedala ade region nalli hechi agide one karana second relatively constant environment less seasonal alli yenu hechi seasonal changes agala relatively constant hechi bisalnu barala hechi malinu barala because of that it is favorable area for the growth and development of plant and animal species then they receive more solar energy which contribute greater productivity at the tropics at the tropical area it receive more solar radiations because of that it produce greater number of the productivity on the basis of productivity only a, a good life can develop because of these three reasons the uh, tropic has the greatest greatest species diversity next you just write on this okay so for today this much is enough in our next class we will be continue the further topics